friends, welcome back. And if you're new, welcome. My name is Nikki. Today is a very exciting day, friends. Sephora has just released all of the potential freebies that you can get on your birthday. If you are not a member of the Sephora, what do they call it? Like, uh, it's basically their perks program. It's free to sign up. I'll leave a link to it down below. You give them your name, your email. They start tracking your purchases. The more money you spend, the more free stuff you get, essentially. They give it to you in points. Um, I've actually done a whole video on Sephora's return policy, uh, secrets to help you save money at Sephora. So if you want to check that out, I'll leave a link to the playlist down below because there's a lot of tidbits good stuff in there. So sign up for their program if you're not signed up. It's free. Link down below. Once your birthday comes up, you get to choose one of these three gifts as a freebie. So I thought we'd just go through them and I'll leave a link to them down below. One of the freebies that you can choose from is a drunk elephant combo. So you'll be able to get, I'll put a picture of it on the screen. If you see me looking down, I'm just looking at the photo. Um, the number nine jelly cleanser, which is usually $34 and you can get the drunk elephant proteiny polypeptide cream that's wow that's usually $68 so that's one of the free gifts that you'll be able to choose from the, there are many sets I can't see the size but I mean it's usually $68 the fact that you get any of it for free I think is pretty good um, next up we have the Kat Von D tattoo liner, which usually retails for $20. You can also, so they're basically coming in little combos. So the drunk elephant um, kit was one combo. Kat Von D tattoo liner, Kat Von D locket setting powder, which is usually $30. The liner is usually $20. And the Kat Von D studded kiss cream lipstick is usually $19. So that's another little combo that you can choose from. So far, I think I'll choose drunk elephant. Although I haven't tried the Kat Von D setting powder. I just, I don't, does anybody else not use lip liners? Am I the only person on the planet that doesn't use them? Here's the thing. I really, really don't like how small my lips are. So I feel like I should be using lip liners. It's just another step that I just cannot be bothered with. But maybe 2019 should be the year that I invest in that. Because if I don't get lip fillers, I should probably do uh, lip liners. So maybe I'll start. I don't know. Anybody else? Do you guys use lip liners? Let me know in the comments. I'm very nasally because I have a sinus infection. I'm just trying to muscle through it. We had some kind of like crazy ass windstorm here. And whenever that happens, it usually happens in the winter time, winter, fall. My sinuses just are ridiculous. I don't even know if it's an infection or if it's just sinuses, but it's a mess. I am on all the drugs, Sudafed, Zyrtec, Aleve, all the legal drugs. Anyways, all right, the last option is from Milk Makeup. So it looks like you can get a silver tube of the CBD mascara, um, which launched in 2018, and a mini cooling water serum stick, which I did like. I did, Milk sent that to me mid 2018, and I really liked it. I think you're supposed to store it in the fridge, and it was really refreshing. Um, so, those are the three options. I think that's pretty cool. I think personally, I would go with the drunk elephant combo. You guys let me know in the comments down below what you plan on going for. I'm surprised I don't have more options. I need to watch the video that I did last year because I think in that birthday video, I felt like there were more options. I'll leave a link to that one down below if you want to see what they offered in 20. All right, let's talk about some new goodies I received. First up from First Aid Beauty, we have their Ultra Repair Barrier, I love that. Not like barrier, but barrier cream. Strengthen, balance, and hydrate. Safe for sensitive skin. I love First Aid Beauty because it's allergy tested, it's fragrance free, which I know fragrance affects a lot of people. It doesn't affect me, but I know it does. And it says, 92% felt the perfect amount of hydration throughout the day. Use daily in the AM and PM. Apply evenly over skin over clean skin. Hallelujah, I need this right now because my skin is so dry. Oh, it's fragrance free, I don't know why I'm smelling it. Ooh, it's an interesting texture. I'll show you a close up. It's almost kind of like a thick whipped cream. Ooh, I can't wait to try this. Another reason, why am I trying to smell this when I know I can't smell my sinus infection? <coughs> They also sent over their lip therapy. Hallelujah, thank you so much for Stayed Beauty because my lips, first of all, I have chronically dry lips throughout the year, but especially during the winter. Let's, why am I swatching this? Oh, it's really thick. I love a good thick lip balm. Look at how excited I'm getting. Oh, yes, 
Yes, yes, yes. I don't want to put this on top of my lip, my lip gloss, but I'm going to. Let's see. Oh, that feels nice. And when it goes on the lips, it doesn't feel super thick. It spreads out really smooth. So I'll keep you guys posted on this. I will use this barrier cream tonight and let you know how it goes. But I like a lot of stuff from First Aid Beauty, so I'm pretty sure I'll like it. But I will still let you know how it goes. I really like this lip therapy. I'm going to use this up. I use lip balms not chapsticks. I use lip balms, lip ointments all throughout the day. So this will probably last me maybe a month or two and I will let you know how it goes. It says it has, it's fragrance free and allergy tested. I think that a lot of, if not all of first aid beauty stuff is fragrance free. So if you're sensitive to fragrance in your skincare, you would really like that. All right. Next up, we have a Korean skincare brand that I have been loving. I think this was in my December Sephora play. I showed you guys this super vital cream. First of all, the brand, I hope I don't butcher the name. It's spelled I-O-P-E. I-O-P-E? I-O-P-E? If any of you know, let me know in the comments down below. But I showed you this cream. First of all, look at that beautiful packaging. I love it. So this is a Korean brand, and I looked it up online. It says they're powered by plant science, skin-friendly solutions for diverse skincare concerns. Um, I've been using this in the morning, in the night, you guys. It's let me show you. It's basically a light, lightweight moisturizer that has a, a very light kind of like floral sweet scent. This stuff is so hydrating but firming. It's the lightest, lightest weight firming cream I've ever felt. I love this. So I like to use it um, around the sides of my mouth. Actually, I put it everywhere, but I really pack it on here because that's where I've been dry lately and close to the eyes, and this stuff has been amazing. Highly recommend it. I'll keep using it, but I, you need very little of it. So I was really excited when they sent me this. Again, they're spelled I-O-P-E. I don't want to butcher their name. So this is their evening... No, enlivening. <laughs> it's like evening. The sinus infection is getting to me. Enlivening contour serum. It has agave nectar. It says visibly firmed and toned skin. I'm so excited. I'll show you close ups. You guys, they kill it on the packaging. I have really been loving K Beauty right now because everything I've tried that's Korean beauty, I don't, I haven't tried everything, but I've tried quite a bit. I've really been enjoying it. So, if this serum is anything like this moisturizer and is firming like this is, I am going to be in heaven. I highly recommend this if you're looking for a firming moisturizer. It is scented though, so I know some people are sensitive about that. But to me, it doesn't bother me. I don't mind a little bit of fragrance in my skincare. It kind of has like a rosy, sweet scent that's fresh, but it's not overpowering. Um, so I'm excited to try this. It has a pump as you can see, and it has like a gradient silver green. <laughs> they really do a good job with the packaging. How much is this? Um, let me see what's the price. So it's $55, but if it works anything like this moisturizer, I think it's worth it. So I will keep you posted. I always tell you guys with skincare, I can't just tell you after one try. I can't just tell you after two tries. I need to use it for a month at least and let you know. It gets difficult though, because I really have to um, basically use new skincare in like sections so that I know what's actually affecting my skin and what's not. Like if I'm using three different moisturizers at once, how do I know which one's working, you know? So I try to just stick to one serum, one moisturizer, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, that's what I do. I will leave a link to my Sephora tips video where I give you secrets and tips on how to save money at Sephora, how you can save hundreds, even thousands if you spend as much as I do. I will leave a link to it right here.